the heartbeat is irregular. This is sodium. This is the sodium-potassium ATPase pump. This pump pushes sodium out of the heart tissue and pumps potassium into the heart tissue. For digoxin, we'll focus on sodium being pushed out. The pump pushes sodium out to even out the pace of the heartbeat. Let's see what that means. When calcium enters the heart, it initiates the heartbeat, but there's more that happens. When calcium enters the heart through the calcium channel, it's stored in the cell. Sodium inside the cell is responsible for releasing this stored calcium for it to be utilized to initiate the heartbeat. So the amount of sodium in the tissue will affect how much calcium is available to initiate the heartbeat. The heartbeat is irregular and different from its normal pace. This is called an arrhythmia. To strengthen the pace of the heart, we need to make more calcium available in the heart tissue. Let's see how we can use digoxin to do that. Digoxin binds to the sodium-potassium ATPase pump and stops it from letting sodium out. By blocking the sodium-potassium pump, we increase sodium in the cell. This increase allows for more sodium to release more calcium in the heart tissue. With more available calcium in the heart tissue, we have a stronger heartbeat. The increase in available calcium is causing the electrical conduction of the heart to fire at a more normal pace. With normalized conduction in the heart, the heartbeat has strengthened to a normal pace.